fun. Uh, this video actually, I wasn't planning on doing a video for this week just because I did one last week uh, covering May and then I thought I was going to wait until the end of June until I finished exams uh, to talk about June, but um, it's, been, uh, it's been quite such a good week that I wanted to share with it. Um, beginning with school, school finished off really well. Um, I'm now technically in dead week, um, but I'm in, in, I'm in dead week for quite some time now because I finished class on Thursday, the like fourth, but my first exam is until June 18th, and then my last exam is until June 27th. So it's quite far down the line, and now being today Sunday, June 7th, I've got somewhere close to like a week and a half before my first exam, and then even that I have like four days afterwards. So. Um, it's been interesting to be a part of this kind of week just because back at Santa Cruz with the uh, UCs, uh, as, especially those on the core system, uh, um, we don't uh, we don't at all get a dead week in which we just go from class instruction ends one fr a Friday and then exams begin Monday through Thursday or something like that. So the fact that I have now I have a week and a half before my first one and even still have um, four days and then two days and then four days again is just um, it's nice, but I would rather be done in the first half of exams, just because exams for some for some people start uh, pretty soon. Uh, as I think this week, some people have exams, and then they finish by the, the end of this weekend, and then they're free to go. Whereas um, me, I'm kind of not trapped, but it, it would be on my mind having to prepare for exams and not being able to get away. So um, I so I made for this month. I won't be going anywhere this month for June. Um, for all uh, being awkward, but um, awkward is such a nice place, such a big place too, and, and there's a lot of places left unexplored that, that I'll be going to on my on my own accord. So I'm pretty excited for that, just because um, the trade-off is I've got a pretty awesome uh, July travel. Um, I've got everything uh, sort of in in the works. We uh, this week I bought with my father some 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 tickets for the trip. So we we booked our tickets back to Auckland from Queenstown on the South Island. Um, but we don't know exactly what we're do doing in the North Island yet. We know we're doing Auckland for at least two, three days. But then other than that, we have the possibility of, of Wellington, perhaps Wanganui, Napier, things like that. Um, and then we definitely want to go to either Brisbane or Keynes in Australia. So we've got that in the works. And then we definitely want to conclude, and I want to conclude, my uh, Europe travels with uh, a stop in Fiji and, and uh, Suva, the capital, So before heading back to California. So hopefully that all goes well in July. But... Um, I, yeah, I guess overall not, I wouldn't want to go through this again with, with the exams. I would much rather be done in a week to, to a week and a half, be done with it, and then just have the free time um, from, from there on out, rather than having to like have finished class, have 13 days off, and then exams. It just seems like it's just too much time, too much free time to have to not be doing it, in which, in which that, that makes sense. So that was good. But school, um, I, I finished class really well. I had this week on Tuesday a performance. Um, it was the final performance for fun for the uh, Hawker class, on, which is um, a, a dance um, part of, which is part of uh, Maori culture. So that was pretty cool just because it was, it was cool to finally um, see where I progressed in this class just because when I signed up for the class back in like, November in, in London, I was like, oh, sweet, um, just because just my basis for the class was I really enjoyed um, taking uh, tango lessons in, in Buenos Aires over the summer, and that really helped um, kind of like me develop a connection to the culture and to the place. So I knew in New Zealand I wanted to take um, a class that, that would really like um, be very impactful and like meaningful, so that's why I chose this. So then on Tuesday we had, we had, we had already had the, the, pri the prior week our, our um, grade exam, but then for this week it was just for uh, friends and family. So it's pretty cool. So I had some friends there um, that I didn't know were going to be there. So it's pretty fun just because um, I, I I did really well. I, I had tons of fun doing it. It's so cool. And, and I and I honestly can't wait to perform uh, perform stuff back home for for uh, family just because they're impressive. So like wow, like to see what I learned. But it was cool seeing seeing some friends there support me. It was, it was pretty nice. Um, but that was Tuesday, and then I submitted my final assignment also on Tuesday as well for my music class. So I felt good. So on come Tuesday night, I had pretty much. I was set on vacation. I said one final class Thursday, so that was pretty cool to finish on this week. So then, um, and, I, and I finished strong too. I, I felt I felt proud of myself just because I, I I put in the effort, put in the put in the work, and I liked the result I got. That's pretty cool. So I'm hoping to um, continue that for exams coming up. I hope to uh, put in the work uh, this week, uh, not off and on, but I 
I, I I hope to do like some kind of like gradual work in which not 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 over over overload overload myself and just kind of like small steps step by step and just do really well because I would love to finish with um, nothing less than B plus because that's my lowest grade I've gotten so far and during my uh, t tenure abroad. So fingers crossed for that. So hopefully um, it's all on me <laughs> sort of thing. So I'm confident in myself. Uh, but this this week was pretty fun just because I had a pretty pretty good weekend that I that kind of like. Um, that really just came to like um, to fruition or that word formation um, in like a week. So on Friday, I had a really cool Friday. I went um, and saw a soccer match um, in which New Zealand is currently hosting until June 20th, from, like May 31st to June 20th. So um, they're hosting the uh, Under 20 World Cup uh, through FIFA, and, and it's been it's in here. So they've had um, uh, matches in Auckland, Wellington, Hamilton, and I don't think South is too cold, but um, the final will be in Auckland. So hopefully I can swing that because tickets were only 20 bucks and it included transport. So on Friday, um, I saw the U.S. play Ukraine. Um, but unfortunately, we lost. It was, it was a bummer. 3-0, uh, unfortunately, but it was so much fun to be there. So I, I went with three other friends, three other Americans, um, one, two from the um, University of Washington, and one, then one from the um, University of Madison that was no, the University of Wisconsin at Madison. So four Americans, four sport guys. So we all knew what we, what we all knew our, our passion for soccer. So it's pretty fun. So we all got American flags just covered in covered in gear. And then I, cause it was that one chance in which you could like be overtly patriotic for for your thing without kind of like being obnoxious or like pretentious. So it's so fun. So we got front we got front row um, on the right side of the, of the field. And then man, we were just like we just had a blast yelling. And then. That I, the highlight of the night was I completely forgot that um, a former high school alumni from my school in um, Granite Bay, uh, Tommy Thompson, he he plays for uh, so I've I've, I've I've actually not seen him twice I mean, kind of weird situations. He plays for the um, San Jose Earthquakes in the uh, MLS um, in the U.S. So I saw him last May um, with with the, with the earthquakes when I went to soccer with my dad in May, and then I, I see I saw him about a year later now in June. And it was in, and then when I saw him around, I was like, "Yo, Tommy, it's me!" I, not me, I was like, "Yo, Tommy!" He's like, he was like, "How the heck did this guy?" Because I think we, I think we, he might recognize my face. That makes sense. Like we weren't friends, but he might know that like from the same high school. So he was like, "Whoa, how, why and are you here at this this game right now?" So um, he didn't play more just because he had played Tuesday against um, our victory over New Zealand. Uh, for zero, but it's pretty cool to see other people. So it's pretty cool to watch and have a lot of fun. Um, just uh, just uh, get really into it and just feel, just feel, I uh, just uh, feel not proud. No, yeah, that proud, but like just kind of kind of kind of like a uh, like a funny white 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 um, pr proud proudness of of where I come from in a way. So, um, but then Saturday was it was a also a good night for swimming events because I went last night and saw my first ever uh, sporting event. My first rugby sporting event, um, in which it was the Auckland Blues, which play in the um, Super Rugby League against the uh, Christchurch, Christchurch Crusaders, didn't win as well. So I'm starting to think that I'm kind of bad luck for uh, sporting events. Sporting events, just because back in September when I went and saw Liverpool play against West Ham in uh, West London, uh, East London, we didn't win. Liverpool, my my team, come here. The West didn't win. Last night, my, my city didn't win. So. I think I'm. I think I'm just bad luck for sporting events being live. So, uh, but the game itself was a lot of fun. Also, front row again. Um, I ended up getting this super cool uh, flag that they that they that, that they're giving out. So I'm definitely gonna take this back to the U.S. The Auckland Blues, love it. And as well as I got a scarf, so that was pretty cool. Um, um, so it's pretty cool. And man, I did. But man, I did not realize just how actually big and like how brute, like like intense and like aggressive like rugby is like these are like full grown like men men, men bigger than me height wise and then men much bulkier than me like size wise and they're just going at it which is it's, it's great to cheer on uh, but the game also kind of like Friday wasn't close so um, scores aside it was okay to see so um and then this morning I had a pretty good um, brunch on Sunday I went to this I actually went to the uh, best rated cafe uh, in the city uh, up in my suburb of Parnell it was pretty fun I could not for life of me um, re recall what I actually got for his name. I couldn't pronounce most things, but it was this like kind of like brunch, egg, toast uh, meal. So good, pretty good. But didn't know didn't know the names or the types of things it was. It was high end. That was nice. So that's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, so that was just my last few days. And it, like I said, it just feels good to be 
sort of on mini summer and like man the taste of summer is just like so there I'm I'm so ready to be there just because I've got an awesome July I've got um, with traveling I've got an awesome uh, July as well because I'm doing a race in Santa Cruz uh, I'll be back with back home finally and I, I can finally unpack and just like and just like really see how much I've matured and see hopefully how much everything has changed for the better and in a sense like, I know some things are going to be um, some things might not be what I what I remember them. Some things might that I have might might have changed, but I just hope that overall everyone around me has kind of like grown grown as I have grown. So that's my hope. And then I've got hopefully a good August with some more traveling in the uh, stateside. And then by September I'll be back in Santa Cruz for the year. And hopefully I will um, have some some nice things some nice things lined up. So um, I hope you're all having a good June so far. I hope it's cool and warm wherever you are, or I hope you're staying cool. If it's hot well, and uh, if you're down under uh, if it's uh, staying warm if it's cold um, and thank you very much for watching and oh um, be sure to check out the video I posted um, of, the, of the rugby game as well as some photos from the, from the last week. Um, thank you all and take care.